Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Chat where today I can confirm that the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge will in fact use Samsung's own Exynos 8890 processor instead of the Snapdragon 820 here in the UK. It's been rumored for a while that the US uh, and parts of Asia will get the Snapdragon 820 in the phones, whereas here in the UK and Europe, and I think also South Korea, uh, we're gonna get the 8890 processor, which is Samsung's own Exynos chip. So the question of which chip was gonna be used here in the UK has been uh, sort of a bit of a topic for debate recently. Uh, as the companies including U-Switch have also uh, confirmed that it would be the uh, Exynos here, but I've spoke to a Samsung rep myself uh, via Twitter and they also confirmed it would be the, the 8890 here. And that does kind of make sense as well since the precedent is uh, for Samsung to use their own chips in their smartphones uh, here in the UK and Europe at least. We did get the uh, Exynos 7420 in the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. So it sort of makes sense uh, for them to continue to do that with the S7. Until we have both phones in front of us, one with an 820 in it and one with an 8890, it's difficult to know exactly how they compare, but they are supposed to be very similar uh, and they're both using Samsung's own 14 nanometer uh, die uh, for the chip. So there won't be a great deal of difference, although the Snapdragon 820 is a quad core uh, versus the octa core processor of the 8890. But it is worth remembering, of course, that octa core is not necessarily better than quad core. In fact, some of the early benchmarks we're seeing puts the Snapdragon 820 a little bit ahead of the Exynos 8890. So some of us here in the UK uh, and Europe may be a bit disappointed. So I've got the S7 and the S7 Edge on pre-order and I can't wait to show you guys uh, what they're like in person when they come uh, on March 8th, I believe. I will have full reviews, comparisons, camera tests, battery tests, everything you need to know about the S7 and the S7 Edge uh, when they come out next week or so uh, so I'm very much looking forward to getting my hands on those but let me know what you think in the comments if you're living in the UK are you disappointed that we're gonna get the 8890 would you prefer the Snapdragon 820 or maybe like me you're not that bothered uh, considering even if the 820 is slightly faster than the 8890 in benchmarks uh, we all know that benchmarks and sort of hardware does not necessarily translate to everyday real world use, especially on Galaxy phones with touch whiz. So um, I'm not that bothered about it, even if the 820 is faster. I know for sure, since I've used them a little bit at MWC in Barcelona, that it is significantly faster uh, just in day-to-day -day use and general tasks. So then the S6 is a lot smoother. And of course, a lot of that is down to the new Android 6 Marshmallow update as well. So let me know what you think in the comments and please do like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and to stay tuned to all the upcoming Samsung news and reviews. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again right here on the Tech Chat.